has a zest for issues management, so much so that they spent a cool million bucks staffing an issues management team, even though they already have press secretaries to do that very job in each ministry. Now, Mr. Speaker, I have spent many years listening to the folks across the aisle criticizing our government for adding layers of bureaucracy and political staff, and now they're doing the same thing themselves. Can the Premier tell me why she hired press secretaries she has so little trust in and then needed to spend an extra million bucks to get the job done? The Deputy Premier. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm a little surprised that the question is coming from a, a member who's been part of government. Premier's offices do have issues management regularly. This is uh, not atypical. Um, the number of uh, political staff in the Premier's office is on par with the number of staff in the Premier's office under the last party, uh, just before the last election. Uh, it's that we've uh, aligned them in certain ways to make sure that we have seamless integration. For example, some of our issues managers are supporting the response to the Fort McMurray wildfires to make sure that there's seamless uh, multi-ministry uh, integration, Mr. Speaker. For supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given that most of the hires to this million-dollar team are former NDP staffers Whoops. from British Columbia and Manitoba, wow. it must have seemed like the Oprah show over there at the legislature. You get a job, you get a job, everyone gets a job, except if you're an Alberta communications Boom. professional. Wow. Then you don't. Again, to the Premier, when you said that you had a jobs plan, you didn't tell us it was a Manitoba jobs plan. <laughs> Deputy Premier. Thank you very much for that question, Mr. Speaker. Let's remember what that party was saying right before the last election. You're going to get fired, public servant. You're going to get fired, public servant. Are you kidding me? You were going to cut a billion dollars from health care, multiple million dollars from uh, human services, education. Give me a break, Mr. Speaker. And newsflash, when New Democrats get hired, they want to hire people who understand New Democrat worldviews to help manage the government. So that meant we had a complexity of people. Members. Second supplemental question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, we, we, we know we're on track with the Manitoba jobs plan now. Given that I earned my master's only a few years ago specializing in issues management, I know a lot of folks in this province who had been delighted and eminently qualified to do this work. In fact, I have binders of communications professionals, binders of them who would have loved this job. Why doesn't the Premier want Albertans to have these jobs? Why? Why not? that we have hired the best people in the country, including many Albertans, to be a part of this area, as well as other areas within government. What's unusual is that the previous government also had issues managed, but is housed in the public service, Mr. Speaker. That, to me, is not clear, transparent, or respectful. Our staff structure may be different, but the number of political staff is comparable to what was under Prentice, and it's less than previous PC governments, and our structure is the same as uh, one that uh, existed under Prime Minister Harper, as well as one that exists uh, in other Conservative governments right now, I believe, and Premier Palliser as well. We're very proud of the team we have, Mr. Quiet, please. 